Hey everybody, how's it going? So just want to give everybody an update on what's going on with the channel and uh, where things are headed. As it stands right now, I'm still very much hard at work on the Pod HD demo and hopefully I'm gonna have that finished off this weekend. And I'm also working on a review on this uh, on this green legator. And I'm very excited to share the story about what this is all about because I think that you guys are really gonna like uh, what legator has got to offer. We're doing a little Q&A today, but I just want to give you guys an announcement as well. This Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, I will be doing an SMG live event. Uh, we're going to be doing it live from Brandon Wright's house because he's got the faster upload speed. And uh, so we will, uh, TJ will be joining us and Brandon Wright, who's helped out on, you know, a lot of the positive grid demo stuff and... He was also involved with the uh, Prestige Guitars demo and whatnot. Brandon's a really good dude. He was at NAMM with me. Uh, a bunch of you guys met him. Um, so again, he'll be with us and TJ as well. Should be a lot of fun. So if you guys aren't doing anything Thursday night, come check it out, come hang out, and uh, we'll be answering your questions. Speaking of questions, I'm now gonna be offering one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions on Wednesday night. If you want some advice from a pro audio expert, I'm going to be available. And you can check out the details in the spectermedia.ca shop. The link is in the description below. Hope to see you there. Anyway, first question. In response to the Dan button, perhaps you could create a button that would catapult stupid musicians out of your studio. You know, that's a great idea. I would love to see an ejector seat installed here. I can just press a button and go, but you know, we'd probably get a little bloody and messy as the person got launched through the roof. I don't know, maybe I can get uh, like a remote control switch that'll like collapse their chair or something like that. That might be a little more practical. Oh, you fucked that up one time too many, boop, blam. Uh, until then, maybe I'll just get a USB missile launcher or something like that. How to not completely suck at heavy rock guitar in suggested videos with recommended for you written below. Oh, YouTube, that's fucking mean, you asshole. Dude, what can I say? I'm happy to help. Doesn't being as good as your weakest player mean that Metallica sucks, Lars? Dude, have you even listened to any of the records Metallica has put out since the Black Album? I don't think any of them have been any good. Especially that pile of shit they did with Lou Reed. Ugh. Hi, Glenn. I've heard stories about guitar players tracking bass on records because the bass players suck so much. As you relentlessly slate bad basses, I was wondering if you have ever done that on someone's record. Yes, we did that a number of years ago, and to this day, the bass player in that band still does not know he actually did not play on that record. I've even gone as far as to watch a bass player fuck up the same riff over and over and over again, grab the bass out of his hand, you know, hit record, nail the riff, and hand it back to him. And, you know, apparently that bass player whined about it all the whole way home, and it's like, well, dude, all you had to do was practice. What's wrong with bassists at Spectre Sound Studios? We are all 100% capable of doing things, so you try it before you start heeing a douche about it. <laughs> That's fucking good, man. Yeah, 100% capable. Yeah, you know what? If that were true, I would not have a YouTube channel. Anyway, guys, just a real short one today. Uh, ho again, hope to see you Thursday night uh, for the SMG live event. Until then, take care. Hey.